Okay, I just got this Weeble S and I've been absolutely loving it. I got my ZV-1 balanced. Um, that was the hardest part after that. This thing's just like beautiful. So it's on right now, it has all these settings. I'll kind of show you, if you don't know what a gimbal does, it's gonna keep your camera steady. So when you're walking with it or running or moving it forward, turning it, um, you're gonna be able to keep a really beautiful steady shot. I'll show you uh, some sample footage I have with like me running or walking and, and running with this camera with and without um, the, the, um, this Weeble S. So when you get it, it has everything you need. It also has cords to connect basically any even bigger cam. So you can connect bigger or smaller cameras, but you'll be able to connect any of those cameras to the Weeble S. You can control things like the, the focus as well as zooming and stuff like that. I opted to not do because I couldn't I couldn't do much controlling with this Sony camera and I just wanted kind of this cleaner uh, look and there just wasn't much of a reason. So basically when you get it, you're gonna have all these parts. Um, this is like a stable tripod that's you can uh, unscrew and actually attach here for like a different mode. Um, you also have this like joystick to like move up and down the camera. Um, and then basically you can like, there's different modes so like you can hold back here and you can see it's on follow mode and then if you click the fn button right here you get go mode and those are just gonna control basically your camera differently when you're moving it around um which is really nice and then yeah you can just like move this up and down to actually like move your camera manually so no matter what situation you're in uh you can be ready basically with your stabilization. If you click this um, back button three times right here, it's gonna turn your camera around, which is super cool for like a vlog mode. And then if you click it again, it's gonna turn it back around. One, two, three, boom, just like that. So let me show you that sample footage because it's super powerful. Like this is so much better when you walk with this it's so much more steady than you trying to hold it steady. You can get really cinematic, beautiful shots with this thing. I've been shooting at the beach a lot, um, just like walking around and it just like has all these little axes that keep it steady. Basically, if you don't know what balancing is, just look up the Weeble video. They have a really good guide. I had to look around a little. I needed to make this camera heavier because mine's like a lighter camera. If you have a heavier camera, you should be fine. And basically balancing means, let me turn this off. By the way, there's a whole settings menu and like you can figure out like a lot of these buttons I haven't even done everything with. I'm just using it to like stabilize, but basically balanced is when you can turn it on like any axis and it's just gonna stay there. So like I could turn it up, I could turn it down. And then there's these like locking bu buttons. There's three different ones to like hold it in certain positions, but when you want to use it, you get it balanced first, and then you're going to unlock all of these, and then you're going to turn it on. The battery life's been great. It actually comes with a charger, and the batteries are at right here. Um, and yeah, besides that, once you get it balanced with your camera, you just basically can put it right on. I actually opted, which I recommend you do, to get a quick release plate. So for my camera, uh, it's hard to do with one hand, but... Yeah, I can take it off here just by like clicking this button. So I keep everything on my my um, Weeble S the same as I normally would, but I'm able to just take my camera off and then put it back on whenever I want. I'm trying to show you guys that, but it's really hard to take my camera off with one hand. There we go. So now there's no uh, camera on here. I can take it, I can store it up, I can lift this up, close the legs, or I could actually, again, take this piece off. Um, it's optional if you want that on or not. It's not part of the balancing, so that's really nice, but I like to have it on. Uh, hold on, I gotta put this, move these legs down again. I like to have it on because it's nice and stable, so you can put it on a table. Without that, it won't be stable. And then, yeah, whenever I wanna shoot, I can just, like, basically put this camera on again without two hands. It's a little difficult, but I might have it. Oh, I'm gonna use this camera and face it down. Boom. So now, oh, don't, don't do that. <laughs> okay, that only happened because I'm being dumb with one hand, but basically I can put this camera back on and it's gonna lock in place and never move as long as this locks. 
Um, luckily, I didn't drop my camera. This ZV one's also a beast. So I know you can do light cameras. I know you can do DSLRs. Your light camera, you might have to add some to. Like I have a, uh, a uh, what's this called? A cage, like a little cage, and then also this like quick release mount in this quick release mount. And that allowed me to basically get enough um, weight on this camera to balance it. Um, you'll know if you need more weight, you can just look it up. And yeah, it's all, everything else comes with the Weeble S, obviously except the camera. It's a really nice case. There's also, um, uh, yeah, like extra cords and stuff and full really good videos on how to balance and set it all up. Really beautiful, uh, really lightweight. Um, like I, I can hold it with one hand for a long time. Um, and just like sturdy. I think it's gonna last a really long time and just be like a really big blast to use. So uh, yeah, this is my video review of the Weeble S.